Isaiah's like, this guy. Had that Moo Moo Meadows cow smile. Uh-huh. Just all the way across, <laughs> just mm, as happy as can be. Ear to ear. Well, we're going to see. I've seen this matchup quite a few times in my day just from being from New England. I've had to watch a whole lot of Light versus Sinji, right? So it's mm. like, okay, mm. definitely have my fair share of watching this. But, I mean, you know, Comet, I feel like, might have a, a relatively easy time here. I don't want to count Isaiah out. We were just talking about how well yeah. that he was able to play into doorstop earlier on. But, like, depending on how comfortable Comet feels, this can actually be really tough. You can get rushed down by Fox in a way that no other character can. Yeah, and Pac-Man can sort of keep up with the frame data. He gets a lot of mileage off of these ledge guards Ooh. that Isaiah's doing right now. But give Fox a bell, things get scary. All right, up throw and the delay, right? Just wait, what are you gonna do here? Looking for an air dodge, but Isaiah seeing no reason to just let it go, right? Takes his time, picks the correct defensive option and regains stage control here. And if you're a Comet, yeah, you can shoot a few bullets like that. But, oh Ooh. my God, that's tough. Oh, that barely KO'd though. That was actually pretty good DI, Yeah, all things considered. Yeah, but give Isaiah a bell and he's going to ring it. Right away, he got the bell in his hand and lets it rip immediately on Comet, who was was not ready for that quick of an option. And now we're seeing some of what you were calling out earlier is that, that smothering that Fox is capable of on pac Oh, Okay, I was scared there. If that was bad in the eye, that would have been a sock. So shout out to Isaiah for not letting that one slip a little bit earlier than it should have. But an up smash out of shield is just that bread and butter Fox BS you got to deal yeah, with. Yeah, that's the classic. Comet talks about that. He's like, man, I can't imagine not having a frame three grounded kill option yeah. that just blows <laughs> people up, right? Like, what would, what, what would I do without that? Um, and he makes, he makes the absolute most out of it whenever I see him play. Um, spacing out with that laser. Pac-Man known for zoning, but Fox is going to be able to put up some damage from a distance in this matchup as well. We see uh, some some pretty successful laser camping gameplay from Fox if if he needs to do it. Oh, hi yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, refresh that and get all that damage. Chases with the up tilt as well, and Comet is just forcing this advantage state. You see, Isaiah is looking for a moment to breathe, but Comet smothering, right? I'm not going to give you that space. Stop it. Stop trying to run away from me, bro. Fight me, bro. Yeah, Comet is a bug that will not get off of Isaiah's back. Chasing him corner to corner, but again, Isaiah puts him in um, at the ledge, and things get scary pretty quickly. He runs up, gets two grabs in a row, another down throw. The bell not yet going to ring. Shines, turns it right back around. Isaiah loses control of the bell, immediately caught with the up smash. Comet played that corner situation very well. But I do respect the way that Isaiah played it as well, right? Ooh, hold on. What at this cheeky-ass conversion, but it's not going <laughs> to lead to anything quite yet, but you do get some advantage here if you are Isaiah. We just need to find that final blow because despite the fact that Fox is going to smother you, luckily, zoners in this game are also coupled with great, like, CQC tools? Yeah, yeah, great, great boxing stuff, great get off me tools. Um, so, Pac, Pac Man with no shortage of ways to box with Pac Man, right? A lot of very quick moves. And that forward air on the hydrant is a, a great, a, a great example of that. It's going to take us off, it's going to come out pretty quickly to even up the stock count nice. off stage now. This could be disgusting. The down air is disgusting. That's going to take an explosive stock off a Comet to give Isaiah game one. And that's exactly what Pac-Man can do with that Galaxian, man. You just go ahead. And then he hits him with the, oh, snap. Oh, you said this is like, I got to take my shoes off before I come to this house. Let me just hit the rug real quick. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, sorry, it was snowing outside, right? Like, let me brush it off. Stop with the dirt off his shoes, man. Wow. Oh. Have you ever watched the Boondocks? Uh, I have, actually, yeah. There's, a, there's an episode with Doug Nipissant where he got this hot single called Stomp Him in the Nuts. And that's exactly what we just saw Isaiah <laughs> yeah. do to Comet right there, man. Big time nuts stop it. Oh, that jab is going to hit in the corner. Isaiah trying to make his way back. And yeah, Comet, Comet's pissed, right? Yeah. He, he does not want that to happen again. You're like, bro, like, you was kind of getting sauce, and then you like hit me with some Pac-Man BS, and then suddenly I lost the set. Yeah. Or not the set, but the game, rather. And so, not going to try to let that happen again. But if you are Isaiah, this is the reason you were able to upset doorstop. It's plays like that, right? You get clutch, you lock in, and you make it happen. Mm. Yeah, Flambo, imagine if I told you that the best clip of Top 16 so far was a Pac-Man. I know, for real, <laughs> you know what right? Saying? What's you know what going saying? on? You expect to see some slower gameplay, but Pac-Man just ran out and did it to him. Um, trying to capitalize on that momentum, brings it back a little bit after Comet stuffed it. Tries to turn around with a quick projectile. There's that grounded kill move yet again. Comet went for it earlier, didn't connect, but second time's the charm in this case. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where it's like, 
If you're Isaiah, so much of your game plan is going to revolve around the way that you play around Fox's shield that you're going to have to do these aerials around and across Fox's shield at some point, but you just have to know that that up smash is always a looming threat. A looming threat indeed, as is the bell. Comes Woo! out to play set up into the forward air. Isaiah's on it, man. He's playing well. He's locked in, bro. Oh, yeah. He is locked in, man. That's like that, That's a good way to put it. And he does not have the key out, so he's not going to get unlocked anytime that's facts. soon. That's facts. That's facts. Anytime said, soon. Leave me in here. I'll keep scrapping. Exactly. That narrow's going to scrap up close yet again. As you say it, the orange comes out. Apple a day. Might keep Fox away. Putting on the pressure in the corner. Off stage. Not where you want to be. Isaiah's proven that time and time again. Up throw combo into the up air. I love that Pac-Man has that. Oh my gosh. So up throw confirmed for like a 60% window. Oh my goodness. That forward smash was still open. We going off stage. Trying to stop this Fox from getting back to the stage. But you know what? He got a little bit of a bouncy house over there. Yeah. That, that like should have been a stock, right? Comet's kind of holding on for dear life. The Nair oh. connects. Puts him off stage. Isaiah is capitalizing. But yet again, Comet makes it back. Uh oh. Okay. Try to read uh -oh. the, the, the roll in there. The up air. But he didn't give it up. I thought in that situation, once he forced Comet to recover low with the fruit, that maybe he would throw a hydrant. Dude. But you know what? He, he is on it, bro. These confirms have been so immaculate. Comet, like, what's going on here? You know how, like, a church bell rings every hour? Yeah. Isaiah's bell rings every stock. It, it comes out Boom. every single time. The Undertaker, for real. It's <laughs> Undertaker type shit, indeed. He hits it every single it's, it's so hard for Comet to avoid. Isaiah's been so ambiguous with it. And now he's off to a pretty explosive lead here, looking to take game two. Yeah, if I'm Comet, I got to start thinking about my game plan. It's like, all right, well, so far, I've just been kind of trying to rack up damage and then finding a moment to KO with up smash. But what if I need to do a little bit more than that, right? How yeah. do I keep this Pac-Man feeling less comfortable? Because obviously, Isaiah is looking way too relaxed. Weirdly, I think at this point, Comet needs to slow down the pace of the oh. game a little bit. Isaiah trying to rip this game away from him. Stuck in the corner. The fruit's coming out. Oh, no. Fox taking a hit. You better watch out. He's trying to hit him with the continental breakfast. Giving him <laughs> all the fruits, man. You better watch your mouth. Fruit salad. The belt does not yet ring. F till Comet sends him over. Can't get the uh, jab lock or anything of the sort. Watch out for the reflector, Sheesh. though, Isaiah. Up smash is going to connect you after the whip grab. Comet looking to take this game. Still very much at the cards. All right. Anything is possible here. Already a great start for Comet. A quick 28% and counting. Looking to tack on a little bit more here, but needs to be careful with the approach. It's a hydrant. That's not what you want. <gasps> <laughs> Don't scare me like that, Isaiah. Don't scare me like that. You really try to get cheeky on him. He said, yo, I got more in this bag of tricks, bro. You better watch out. Isaiah keeps finding, finding success <laughs> with the roll in. The apple is going to do it. And what I was going to call attention to earlier, this isn't typically what you would think of in this matchup. Um, I would like to see Comet kind of control the pace of the game more. He's been uh, trying to stay in Isaiah's face the whole time, and Isaiah has had no problem dealing with yes. that. He's hitting him off, using Pac-Man's phenomenal get-off-me tools, that Nair, that Fair, all those fruits. Comet hasn't been able to stay close safely. And typically what you can see foxes do is run away, let Pac-Man charge with the fruit, whatever. I'm going to hit you with lasers. I'm faster than you. I'm going to run this game at my pace, and I'm going to interact with you when I want to. Yes. Fox is very capable of doing that, and Comet has not yet abused that advantage that Fox has. Yeah, and I kind of feel like, I think you feel a pressure as Fox in the yes. matchup to like go ahead and like dash in, right? And as we're seeing, you were just talking about using the gun a little bit more. Unlimited bullets. Why are you not spamming that clip, right? Yeah. But then on the other side of things, I'm like, I kind of would also like to see Comet walk more, right? Like, right. you have the ability to be actionable a lot quicker if you just walk, my friend. But I feel like he feels so compelled to dash in all the time that's getting caught on the dash timings. It's a nice startup for Comet. Finds an opening, couple of nares. A little kiss on the cheek, nothing too much. 80% on Isaiah. It, it, it stays building, though. Comet's playing a really good um, sequence of advantage. And now he is playing much more uh, patient around the hydrant. He's not just jumping over it, guns ablazing like we've seen him do so many times in the set. And now he's he's rewarded for it with a bell in his hand. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna take my time with this one, using the gun a little bit so he can even try to tack on a little bit of extra percent without having to press about. the A button. And there that's we go. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. That's the that's the type of gameplay I think I think the the longer a Fox Pac-Man game goes, the more likely Fox is to win. And immediately, Comet gets a bell and says, you you got to come to me now, right? This, this is now my game. I control the pace 100%. Jeez. And he gives himself a bell again. 
Yeah, it is one of those things, right? I feel like it, it can be kind of polarizing. I feel like either the more likely the Fox is to win or the opposite, depending on the Fox player, it comes down to their stamina, right? Sure. Like sometimes in the best of five, especially, like the longer the set gets, the easier it is for Pac-Man to win because the other player just gets tired. But yeah, best of five comment, down two games as well. Yeah, exactly. You got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, and work against Pac-Man is never easy work. Um, but Comet kind of making light work of it so far in this game. Um, Isaiah has not yet been able to adapt to the patient gameplay. Nice grab, holds him still for the Hydra. Says, "Come here, son. He's got it." All right, what's going to be the answer for this ledge trap? The bell is out. Tries to get for the grab, but the spacing is not quite correct. I think the setup was pristine, though, because obviously Comet didn't want to get hit by that bell. Was going to hold shield, but just couldn't get that grab to connect. Yeah, Isaiah with a great idea there, but. Um, the execution doesn't fall exactly in his favor like it has so far in this set. Oh my and that's some disgusting damage all the way up to 60%. Um, Comet's been putting on the heat for Isaiah. This is looking like it could be a three stock after two quick games. Yeah, this is a go next. And it is, man. Yeah, we go next for sure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put it. We <laughs> go just, next. Just let that one rock. We delete that one from the memory and we just keep it pushing because, yeah. you know, I don't want to say there is nothing to be taken away from that game. If you're Isaiah, clearly, like, you definitely want to think about what happened to you there, but also, sometimes when you're just competing and playing the game, like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you just gotta, you just gotta keep moving on. If you harp on it too long, you're gonna yeah. put yourself in, like, a, a negative momentum spree. Things just weren't falling into place for Isaiah the way that they were in those first two games. Um, and yeah, it kind of is just oh. like, Think about it next time, but Comet, whoa, opening up with the same type of pressure he went for in the first two games, but this time it's working. Isaiah thrown off his balance. Yeah, I feel like Isaiah is making decisions slower, and that's not what you need to do right now against a character like Fox as well. We saw in the first opening sequence of this game, sat in shield for a while, ended up getting poked by up air, jumped out of shield because the shield getting hit too much and immediately got red, right? Those are signs of things are not looking good for you. Comet's starting to figure it out. Oh, and that grab not connecting. We saw him getting a lot of those reading Comet Shield. That's been another big thing ah. is the way Comet has maneuvered around Shield right there. See him get a massive punish out of Shield. Comet's moving differently right now. Yeah, no, definitely trying to, you know, tap in a little bit to what the power of a Comet really does here. Ah. Can't allow yourself to, like, get burnt out before you make it to the atmosphere, right? Like, you really got to keep on pushing forward here. But on the side of Isaiah, it's like... What happened? You were so locked in before. Did you run out of gas or did you get yeah, figured out? It, it, it's just been, I, I think Comet's been much more ambiguous with his timings. He's coming in quick, he's slowing it down, he's coming in quick again. And Isaiah's had a hard time catching those. Oh, nice. Hold on. Here's a combo, though. These are the combos that were giving him so much mileage in the first two games. Didn't work out Whoa. for him. Stuck in that corner. Breaks his way out, though. Now it's Comet on the back foot. It's been really hard, I think, for, for Isaiah to get Comet to shield like he was before. Before he was playing in and around the shield so often, it was getting down air after down air, sometimes nares even. But now it feels like Comet's the only one applying this pressure. It's a great mix up from Comet again, just jumping in Isaiah's face, re rewarded with the grab. Not the biggest reward if you're Fox, but a reward nonetheless. 23 is not too huh. much for Isaiah here. 62% is just like one Galaxian conversion, but the beautiful reflector coming out from Comet, and now things are looking quite a bit more dire. It looks like Isaiah before was having such an easier time getting those KO confirms, right? Was finding bell after bell. But this time, nice. we do actually get another. So nice. cool, we're not out of the this neck of the woods just yet. I was just about to say, Comet was playing with a type of confidence that's terrifying. He's standing Ooh. there, he's countering your key. Um, Isaiah was on the back foot, but the, the second Isaiah sends his blood in the water, he's going to bite. Moves forward really quickly, and this could be nasty off stage. Comet jumps early and keeps himself safe. Okay, I like this. Immediately after shielding the first up air, we see the difference in defensive option from Isaiah this time around. Immediately dashes off the platform and is like, ah, I'm not trying to deal with this again. Ooh, okay. Ooh, nice jab. I think I think Isaiah was keenly aware of which way the Galaga bug would be sent after the, the shine, where Comet may not have been. Punishes accordingly, but now Comet with a bell uh, in hand. This has been terrifying. He's so fast. He can be all over you. He has no reason not to be. But he also has no reason to approach if he doesn't want to. He can do just this. It's so hard to deal with. But Isaiah comes out alive. Yeah, definitely always a, a fear factor there when your opponent has the bell. Because one, you don't have access to fruit. But two, we already saw what Comet did the last two times he had that bell in hand. One of them led to a stock, and the other led to a pretty hefty conversion. Yeah, Fox with bell is a sleep paralysis demon. It's terrifying. Just watching him jump over you over and over and over. But Isaiah... 
is hanging into this game. It's very solidly close. Only a 10% nice. difference between the two, and now there's all stock difference as Isaiah takes a lead and threatens to take the set. Okay, now the question is here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you said you just sat there and waited. <laughs> yeah. Great positioning. Comet was keenly aware of where Isaiah wanted to be. That roll in uh, has benefited him quite a few times, but this time Comet bites him for it. Great opening for Isaiah. This could be huge. He's made so much off of these all set. He's going to keep doing that. Does he have a no jump? Doesn't matter. Uh -oh. Gets back to uh -oh. ledge. Throw down with the bell, and he's throwing down with the F smash. That's going to take the stock. And another shocking upset. The 31 seed taking wins over Doorstop and Comet, who is the 7 seed. Okay. Wow, look Yeesh. at that. Comet being sent to the elimination side of bracket. I, I need to go check out the bracket, see what's going on there, because I'm like, wouldn't it be wild There's if some he's on the that. side of bracket where he'd have to run into doorstop, right? Like That would be insane. Yeah, like some early, early doorstop uh, doorstop elimination. That would be unbelievable. This 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 setup has just been, that's been it for Isaiah. Yeah. Every, every time Comet was at ledge, Isaiah had some sort of setup, and he mixed it up every time. I don't think we saw the same one twice. <laughs> like that that down throw at the bell at the ledge, that's a classic. pac mans do that so much. That was the first time Isaiah did it all set. He had been saving that. He had it in the back pocket, and he pulled it out his trap card at the best time. Yeah, it's so... Uh that's why Pac-Man's so aggy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> cool character for sure, but also an extremely aggy character in a similar way that Steve is, where it's like, do you know all the things I can do, all the setups? Yeah. Do you keep them active in your brain?